So hello there, what's up guys? Uh, this is Ivar at Ivar's Fly Workshop and today we will be tying an Icelandic pattern called Sally. And Sally was originally designed by Peter Steingrinsson. The thread we are using for this fly, that's an Uni 8O black thread. And yeah, Sally was one of the first patterns that Peter designed and got really successful. I've been in like a personal contact with Peter uh, just through email and he sent me he sent me the recipe of the fly. The hook we are using that's an RX HR428 number 8 and for the tag of the fly we will be using an oval gold and like I said yeah this is one of Peter's first fly that really took off and uh, became successful I don't know how many patterns Peter has I did never ask him about that exactly but we are speaking about uh, I don't know 30 20, 30, 40, even 50 successful patterns. So Peter is definitely one of Iceland's uh, best fly dressers and designers. And what is interesting with the flies from Peter is that they kind of stand out. They are like unique to everything. And they work. They fish. So uh, the butt of the fly, that is uh, like a fluor orange not orange, sorry, fluor red uh, floss and it may look, in the picture, it may look uh, like an orange thing, orange floss but it, it, it is uh, truly red, it's just the light that is making it looking like that because it's uh, reflective to, to UV light so it's not exactly the correct color in, it, in the picture but We'll store that end of it because we are going to make make the tail of the fly out of this. So uh, out of the same material. So what we do is simply that we uh, cut the rest of it in pieces. I like to keep it in two pieces and kind of get them to merge together, and then I place it on the. Uh, back of the fly, tune in the length that we decided to have and it's like neat to do that, you see it's only two or three loose wraps when you can adjust the uh, the length of the tail but the tail material is exactly the same which we made the butt from so it's like we are, yeah, we are using it, uh, using the rest of it now we will secure the body and uh, form the antibody of the fly. What is now important is that we have to uh, make the rib of the fly. We have to attach that. And after we've attached the rib of the fly, we will build up the body. And pay attention to this, how I place the rib under the hook shank. I started and I wrap it around while I put it on and put it under. So we will be using like a king blue, like a royal blue uh, floss for the body of the fly. And like I said, it is beautiful, beautiful fly by Mr. Stengerinsson, absolutely. And I hope you guys like what we are doing. And then we will just wrap the uh, the floss around. Here we go, and then we will we will secure that with our with our thread and snip off the end. And next step will be, of course, to um, place on the uh, rib of the fly. So it's like four maybe five turns 
of the uh, of the oval gold, same as the tag of the fly, and the throat of the fly. That is both blue and red feathers mixed together. So I have here both of the feathers blue and the red, it's about 50-50 mix and we will be letting the blue uh, feathers facing outwards like so and then we can kind of tune in the length of the length of the fibers as desired Yeah, I'm gonna place it in like so, and then we'll, we'll snip off what's left. Uh, yeah, like I, speaking about Peter, Peter uh, replied me, he replied my email, and uh, getting an email from Peter is simply it's like one of the legends are actually <laughs> reply, replying to that's it's really cool. So, what he did is that he sent me the the recipe of some other flies, the Sally and Metallica and many other good flies that he had. And then he asked me for my address if he could send me some of his work. And he did. So just a few days I got an envelope with few flies and description from Mr. Peter, handwritten letter and everything. That's the coolest thing to receive. So... Uh, on with the fly tying. Uh, the wing on the on the sally fly, that is just like a brown squirrel, and we have to measure out the correct length of the wing so the tip of the wing merges and is level about about level with the tail of the fly. So we have the have like a ratio that uh, makes sense. But yeah, Peter sent me this letter and, and I'm definitely going to place those flies in a frame and the letter and it's something which I'm going to store on my wall for the coming future. This is, these are flies which I'm not uh, dipping in water, not at all. This is like a legendary, one of his work from a legendary living legend in, in the flat time. So I'm definitely, definitely keeping those flies for myself. Uh, attaching the wing to the um, to the fly is done like so. I wetted the the cut part of the wing with uh, with uh, varnish, and we have to tune in the wing so we are kind of satisfied with the uh, with the wing. And we have to build up the of the fly now and that's done step by step like so and it's gonna take yeah, a few turns to build it up since we are tying it on number eight then we'll do the whip finishing whip finishing job but uh, I prefer to do it like at least two two knots with finish or not just to be safe. The next step would be then to finish the head of the fly. But one thing which you will see when you uh, see Peter's flies is that the head of the flies from him they have two colors. Usually they have red and they have not red, I'm sorry, black, and then some other color like green or red or some, and they are split in just like this, what we are making here, in 50-50, so half and half. I do not know if the fish pays any special attention to that, but at least for us fly tires, this is really cool, and... Uh, this is kind of like the logo for, for the flies that Peter had designed. The Metallica has uh, 
had like like this and many other of his uh, flies. I will be tying some of his flies on the on the channel of channel of course. And if you have any requests, just let me know, and I will contact Peter for the for the correct information. But that's about it. Uh, the Sally fly. This fantastic salmon fly is ready and it worked well like under many circumstances in the river in high and low water and in bright weather so in the most uh, difficult situations and uh, scenarios this fly even works so the final touch is just to place the UV, UV glue I'm using which is a solar spawn cure, which I like a lot. And to place that on the head and fry it with our UV torch. So that's about it for today. I just want to say to you guys, uh, thanks for watching. You may consider to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you do have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Or drop me an email at fluismian at gmail.com. So I hope you enjoyed the video and, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.